Hello, I'm Richard Ridge for Broadway World. Up next at the Kennedy Center's Broadway Center stage is the hilarious Tony Award-winning best musical, Monty Python's Spamalot, which will run from May 12th through the 21st. And we drop by the rehearsal room to bring you a sneak peek and to meet the star-studded cast. That was amazing. How excited are you to be working on Spamalot? I'm so thrilled. I mean, it's it's so funny. I never thought I would do Spamalot. So when they called to ask me to do this, I was like, wow, uh, yes, and signed me up immediately. It's been a blast. This group, this cast is probably the best cast ever. And we're it's almost like we're getting paid to have fun. I, I really don't even understand it. It's just like, it's not even a job. It's just going to work to have fun with people that you love. So it's like you take like a room just of like the biggest clowns you can find and you put them in a crazy show and it's just that. It's just clownery every day. And it's like some of my best friends are in the show and so we're having a blast, man. It's the best time ever. How are you getting anything done in the rehearsal room? I'm actually not sure. I'm actually not sure about that. It's like, because again, like, so James and I have had like a, a, a online rivalry for years. Me and Brightman are writing partners. So it's like... It's all insane. We don't we don't know what we're doing from day to day. Like a show is getting done, and you there will be like a very entertaining thing. But like just know, it's crazy. It's pure anarchy in here. Absolutely. First of all, please, Richard, let my family go. I'm only doing this interview under duress because you have my family hostage. What was the question? How much fun are you having living, you know, in the zany world of Spamalot? This could not be more my wheelhouse. This could not be more of everyone in this room's wheelhouse. It's like comedy fantasy camp, and we're all the lucky person that gets to attend. Like, everyone gets to shine in a certain way. But it's also just like, it kind of is this alchemy that you don't get in a lot of rooms. And as a person who loves comedy and is a curator of comedy and has done it, I think, successfully, I sometimes feel out of my league with this group of people. And I don't say that lightly. Like, there are some of the funniest people in this room doing some of the funniest work. Because you have a lot of friends you've worked with in, in this room. I have a lot of acquaintances I've worked with. <laughs> yeah, I do. I do. They're all friends of mine. That's the other thing. It was like hearing who was going to be in this cast. It's like going, it's like going back to school with all your friends and you haven't seen them over a three-year summer. And it's just, it's time to laugh. And so who better to do it with than like the greatest people in the business, but also in my life. living in the zany world of Spamalot and Monty Python. Well, it, it's a blast. And um, my wife is actually a huge Python fan. And um, when, I, uh, when I got the call to be a part of it, she was more excited than anyone else I know. Um, and she sat me down and we rewatched Holy Grail again. And it's just, it's so inventive and it's so absurd. And it's just, you know, it's just so much damn fun. And, um, and this group of people, they all get it. They all get what it is. They get how much we can bring ourselves to it and how much you need to leave it alone. That it doesn't, at when it doesn't need our help, you know what I mean? Uh, to stay out of its way, because it's, it's also a, a phenomenally well-written piece um, as a musical. Um, so knowing when to have fun and when to just let the piece be is, is another skill set. I have always wanted to work with, and when we see each other on the streets, I've always wanted to work with Rob McClure. I always wanted to work with Alex Brightman. I always wanted to work with Leslie. We've seen each other on the streets for years. I'm like, we should do something together. Never, it never happening. But for us all to be together, for the planets to align, for us to be in this, it's fabulous. You know, also, uh, my dear friend Nick Walker is here, who, if you people know our social media stuff, I mean, we're having a ball, and everybody is so silly and so funny. It's, it's really fun to come to work every day. 
Well, I've been living in the zany world of Monty Python since I was a pre-adolescent. Uh, my brother introduced me to Monty Python when I was just a, a tot. And uh, I've loved all of their films, their sketch comedy. They're just brilliant writers, brilliant comedians, brilliant uh, satirists. And uh, this musical uh, is just uh, an expansion upon that. It's, a, it's such a genius piece of stagecraft. It's so fun. Uh, the cast is superb. And uh, it is a ball to, uh, to work with everybody on this piece. We are having, you know, it's the cast, the cast, the cast. I mean, when are you ever going to see this level of extraordinary comedic actors, musical theater actors in one place? It has been a, a, a joy every day, a laugh riot every day. It's just, uh, it's the highest level of musical theater comedy you can get. It's heaven. I, I love this musical yeah. so much. I, I the, the original cast recording is one of my yeah. favorite. I saw it several times when it was running on Broadway. I saw it on tour. I saw it in London. I love this show so much. So, like getting to like come into this world and also having been a fan of Monty Python and the movie Holy Grail, like it's just a playground. We're just having so much fun. There's so much laughter. Um, there's so much inventiveness, so many, I mean, the, the things that people come up with are, are like side splitting. And we can't, like, the sad thing is we can't use them all because there's too many. There's too many bits, too many jokes, too many ideas. There's no way we'll ever be able to use them all um, because there's, the show can't be six hours long. But gosh, it is fun. Bye.